My interest in ram pumps started while I was still at school in Swaziland. In the early 70s, my father had moved to a project farm and there was water there but not available for things and he threw a bunch of uh, pipes to me and said, you know about ram pumps, make one. I saw an article in the Farmers Weekly about ram pumps and that renewed my interest again. And so I started experimenting and playing around with the information that I had and the knowledge that I'd picked up over the years. And sure enough, um, I got uh, my own version of a ram pump working and got it running and now it's as reliable as anything. The basic components of the ram pump that all these components can be bought over a counter from a hardware shop. There's nothing that exceptionally having to be specially manufactured. Once you've got all these components together then you just put the ramp pump together and you can install it and it doesn't take that long to do. And I used recycled batteries to actually melt the lead and manufacture the, the lead weight using biogas from my own um, household sewerage as the heating agent. It's up and down and that's what creates the water hammer that actually pumps the water. The rule of thumb is that for every one meter drop you get 10 meters vertical height pumped. Distance is no criteria as long as you're below the optimum uh, height. Which Water from the river comes down that pipe there. There has to be a drop in the pipe to get the water to flow at force into the pump. It then comes through here into the discharge valve. This activates, the water activates the valve, it goes up and down, and that's actually the pumping action. From there, the water is forced back into another non-return valve into the air vessel. The air vessel then is slightly compressed. It pushes the water through the discharge valve which takes it to the tank. This here is the way to catch the water to go down to the, the ramp pump. Uh, what we did here, we actually diverted the original um, riverbed so that we could catch a portion of the water and the rest of the plants can carry on in the old um, riverbed. And we've got a uh, stainless steel drum filter here to stop the crabs and the debris and uh, everything from going into the, the pipe system of the ramp pump. And um, this weir that we've got here is a very simple weir that is made from uh, bags that are filled with sand and stone, so it's not a big deal to do a major construction now. All it is just putting some sandbags and some stones to catch the water and your whole ramp pump system will work. Thank you.